Hey, I want to make a quick comparison video between two indie filters that I have. And in case you're looking to get variable indie filters at these price points, um, it might help you out because uh, I've been looking around here and there for a long time before I bought a filter. Uh, the ones I'm talking about are Tiffin's Variable ND and Prism FX's Variable ND. There are plenty of reviews out there about these filters, so you go check them out. But I just kind of want to do something real quick. And right off the bat, Tiffin's filters, they are bigger than Prism FX's. So there's that factor. Uh, something to keep in mind if you print this on in front of your lens, you probably can't put anything else on it. While as the Prism FX's, you can. And Tiffin's filter, when you spin it, it goes infinitely. It doesn't stop, so it just kind of loops back and forth into the minimum ND to the maximum ND as Prism FX is as a hard stop, which uh, which I love, which is really good, actually. Something to be noted, Tiffin's filter has more of an ND stop darkness level. I, I don't know the words, I'm sorry right now, but um, compared to the Prism FX's, so the darkest ND it has, it's not as dark as Tiffin's. Tiffin's filters probably run around $170 as the make of this video and Prism FX's runs about 100 bucks. Other than that, um, their filters, they work. Uh, I'm not gonna say which one's better or worse or has color shifts or anything like that. I'll let you decide on the videos. Uh, these videos, they are not shot in log. They're just shot in the neutral profile that my Canon camera comes in with. And on my lens, the same lens, same focal length, same like angle and all that stuff. Uh, it might not be the best test because I was looking directly in the sun, but it's a test. <laughs> and I threw in the CPL filter just for the heck of it, just in case you guys want to see that one too. 